Hello YouTube, it's the more 64 back with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Makuta or Makuta Teradex. But as of 2003, he was basically just called Makuta. So yeah, I'm just going to call him Makuta for the rest of this review. So anyway, moving on. I'm trying to adjust him. So, anyway, before I get into this review, I'm gonna put a disclaimer. I'm not. Oh, I'm gonna just put a disclaimer. Sorry. Trying to think of what I was gonna say. So, anyway, disclaimer. Some of these pieces are not color accurate. All of these are I'm not piece accurate, but they're not color accurate. As of for the rest of the, my G1 reviews, you may notice um, the gold mask, well, Makuta mask. It's supposed to be black, but honestly, I like lost that a long time ago, so I just got that one. Well, just put that one on. And that mask was from a playset from... 2005 and also there are some other colored pieces that are discolored um, right there there's one so yeah they're basically all over this set all the Titan sets that I have will have the most discolored pieces so yeah, um, so yeah, that's basically it. Now on to the review. Um, sorry, just getting my chair a bit closer. Um, so anyway, he does uh, have some articulation, ball joint at the shoulder. It is kind of limited. I can't go farther than that. He does have an elbow joint to go up, to go more than 90 degrees, and he does have an um, articulation while ball joint at the hand. And also, these are the same pieces as of a uh, Rakshi. One thing is, Makuta is filled with Rakshi pieces, mostly the leg. Well, these, which are the legs of the Rakshi. These, which are the back pieces of the Rakshi. Um, what else? This piece, which is the body and gear function of the Rakshi. And, yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah. Um, on. I'm think here. Now for his leg articulation, he has a full ratchet at the um right here. I don't know what to call this, and a ratchet right there. Now I'm gonna try to. Get it. I'm sorry I had to get it adjusted so that he could stand correctly. Now he does have a gear function just like the Rakshi. On to move that staff. So yeah. You can do that, but it does kind of wobble. On. Okay, this is weird. Okay, on science is okay. This is the science in this is weird. I'm like bending. You're seeing this on camera. 
I'm bending it like, I'm doing it like this, and it's going that way, when it should go that way. But yeah, goes right up. Okay, one thing is I did not rehearse this. I legitimately did not rehearse this. What the heck is going on here? Okay, what I'm trying to say here is that it wobbles. A lot. Just like the Rakshi. So, yeah. But it's not doing it the way I'm correct. Well, that I'm trying to show you. So, I'm just gonna. I'm just do it by hand. So, yeah. And also, one thing is, that I forgot to mention in my Rakshi review, there is no way to stop that gear function from turning. Unlike the, to the Toa Nuva in Toa Mata, where you just take a gear and pin, and just stick it, like, somewhere. Well, like in that peg in the back. But nope. Can't do it for these. Now, one thing is, he does have some Rakshi armor pieces, well, back pieces, and you could do that, and you could, hold on just a second, um, let me get the Krata from the Rakshi, and you could place it right in there and basically have him rip the Karata from his legs. You could also open up in the chest. So yeah. And yes, I am staying up for that. I was staying up for that part, so yeah. Oh yeah, one thing is that I forgot to mention is that he's got a ball joint in the neck. Well, it's a full ball joint, so, yeah. So, yeah, there's that. Now, taking that out and moving it to the side. So, yeah. And also, I should also mention, he has a um, mask of light. Well, mask of light. Well, a gray mask of light for hands. So yeah, that's honestly kind of weird. But they do kind of work as hands. So yeah. Um. So yeah, and also he does have one of her gimmick and that is you can do that so yeah so yeah um not sure if there's anything else I need to mention one thing is he does have Toa Nuva armor all over him. He's got four of these and two of those. So, yeah. There's that. But, other than that, that's... Oh yeah, I should probably mention the staff weapon. Um, he does have this staff as a weapon. And one thing is, he could hold it like this with both hands. Um, not sure how, can't remember how they showed you holding this in the instructions, but I'm just gonna say 
that is the way. And he could, like, swing at something. On, I will get Takanuba. Put his staff on him, well, in his hand. So, yeah. He could basically take a swing at Takanuva. And also, you could. If you do have Takanova, you could basically have him duel it out, like in the final battle. So, yeah. So, there's that. And that piece fell. Oh, it came off. Oh yeah, I should also mention this, um, I honestly don't understand why these pieces are there. If someone knows, tell me in the comments, but until then, um, these are basically just useless pieces. So, I honestly don't get why they are there. So. Someone please tell me. That would be nice to know, but I don't have to know. So yeah, that's basically it for Makuta. Now let me get into the final thoughts. Okay, now for the final thoughts. Um, I think Makuta is a pretty good set. This is the only set where we get Pterodax. And possibly the only set. So, yeah. Honestly, I say get him. Well, oh wait, that's not true. He is not the only set where we get Makuta. Ultimate Duma is another one where we get Makuta, basically. But... That's basically a combiner, so, yeah. So, yeah. Honestly, I say get... I say, um, get Makuta. He is a pretty good set. And if you have Takanuva, like I do, for some apparent reason, I got them when I was... I got these sets when I was probably, like, four or five. I can't remember, but... I was like really young when I got these, so yeah. Um, if you have Takanova, you can basically have him dish out in the final battle. So yeah. Um, so that's basically it. Down, if you can find them for a good price but yeah that's basically it um my next review will be Kopaka Master of Ice so yeah um now um please leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Later.